In this lesson, we'll be talking about a utility called Wireshark. Now, Wireshark is a packet capture utility, meaning that it grabs data that's either going out or coming in off a specific network interface. And there are a number of reasons why this may be useful or important. One of the reasons why it's really important is what's going on in the network is always accurate. In other words, you can't mess around with things once they're on the network, or you can't lie about something that's actually on the network as compared with applications in their logs, which can be misleading or inaccurate, or if an attacker gets into an application, they may be able to alter the logging behavior or several other behaviors that make it difficult to see what's really going on. In the network, you can really see what's going on. Once it hits the wire, it's on the wire, and you can't change the fact that it's on the wire once it hits it. So what we're going to do here is a quick packet capture and show some of the important features of Wireshark so that we can use it later on when we're starting to do some more significant work. I selected the interface that I'm using primarily. I'm going to go over here and we'll bring up a Google page just so we can see what's happening on the network. I'm going to go back here and it's grabbing a whole bunch of stuff off the network. I'm just going to stop that and we're going to go back and take a look at some of the messages here and some of the features of Wireshark. Now you can see in the top part of the screen here, there's a window that says number, time, source, destination, protocol, length, and info. Those are all of the packets that have been captured and they're numbered starting from one and the time has to do with being relative to the point that we started capturing. You'll see the source and destination addresses here, the protocol, the length of the packet in bytes, and some information about the packet. The bottom of the screen you'll see has detailed information about the packet that has been selected. So I'm gonna select one here. And we're going to see at the bottom of the screen here, or in the middle frame, it says frame 290. That means that's the 290th packet that was captured. It's 66 bytes, and we grab 66 bytes of it, 528 bits. Tells you what the source and destination MAC address is, or the layer 2 address. And then you can see the IP addresses, both source and destination. And it says it's a TCP packet, and it gives us the source port and the destination port. We can start drilling down into different bits of the packet. And you can see when I select a particular section of the packet down at the very bottom, you can see what's actually a hex dump of the packet. And on the right-hand side is the ASCII equivalent of that hex dump. And it tells you the actual byte-level details of what's in the packet there. The nice thing about Wireshark is it really pulls the packet into its different layers, and we'll talk about the different layers a little bit later on in another movie. But packets are put into different layers, and there's a couple of different models that we can talk about with that. But what Wireshark does really nicely is it demonstrates those layers for us. As we can see here, there's actually four layers in this particular packet here. We can also do some filtering. So I've got a Google web request. So what I want to do here is I want to filter based on HTTP. So I filter HTTP and now I've got just the HTTP and HTTP related protocols here. I can select one here where I see here it says get text input assistant and it's going to get an image that's a PNG image. This is a request to get the icon that's going to be displayed in the address bar in the web browser. It's favicon.ico. What I can do here is I can select analyze and follow TCP stream, and you can see all of the requests related to this particular request, and it breaks them down very nicely into what they would look like. Just a text form here. That's all of the messages related to getting that one image. So that follow TCP stream or follow conversation is a really useful way 
of pulling related packets together so that you can follow them clearly and easily without having to look through all of the packets here and try to figure out which ones you think may be related, which ones may not be related. And you can see here that Wireshark has created a filter for us. It says tcp.stream equals 12. So Wireshark has flagged that stream with the number 12 and it's done a filter for us. And now all of the packets that show up in this window are only packets related to this particular stream. And that's some details about Wireshark. We'll get into more specifics and more digging deeper into Wireshark in subsequent movies.